Without doing my third day of spot and stock this season. It's about 95 degrees outside. Not having much luck, not seeing a lot of animals. Decided I'd do a little driving around, followed this two track road, and uh, come across this windmill and about two dozen antelope. <clears throat> Stumbled into the rancher and uh, he gave me permission to hunt. We got some supplies back here. Kind of a mess of things to build a blind. Not to say I don't like spot and stock, I love it, but this hunt's gotten a lot more exciting. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about setting a blind up down here. I'm gonna put my blind right there in that brush over my shoulder. And I'll be shooting right over there towards the windmill. The furthest shot I'll have is about 60 yards. <clears throat> I have been practicing at 70 quite a bit, so should be good. I hope this works. Here's a view from where the blind will be. There's the windmill. I've been using the road over there. That gives me an angle on the road. And I'll probably even set up so I can shoot out the back if I have to. I've never seen so much excitement over a piece of plywood before. Wind shifted directions and now all these cows can smell me. 15 minutes ago there was a big buck standing right out there at 54 yards. No tank behind him. Right in the clear, right there. And these peckerhead cows were in my way. The antelope leave and the cows move back. I don't get it. Today's day number two of my antelope hunt, sitting here in the blind. I've been out stalking for the last couple weeks, but no luck. Last week you'll recall that the cows kind of messed things up for me. It's about seven in the morning right now, and uh, I'm pretty sure I've just spotted that buck that came in last week. He's quite a ways out there, but we'll see if he'll come in this morning and not make me sit here for an another 11 hours. There's my antelope. Whew. I don't know if the camera's picking them up, but it was a 40 yard shot. The antelope, antelope's been hanging up for almost four hours. He finally came in. I don't know if it's the one I really wanted to shoot, but I'll take him. Whew. Those antelope, those three right there, plus the one I just shot, have been hanging around here for four hours. The rest of their buddies are all sitting. The rest of them are all out past those cows. That's where they've been laying down all day. They've been bedded there. And uh, 
all these bucks I passed up today and does, they went right back over there. They're all bedded down past the cattle, right in that shady spot. Whew, got them. I got some work to do. There's the water where they were drinking. Right there's where I hit him. 40 yards. Let's see if I can find my arrow. Surrounded by cows all day. They've been sticking their noses in that blind. See, all day long these antelope, they can wind me. The wind has not been in my favor at all. But what they've been doing is they've been going around the back side of this windmill and coming in here drinking from that side of the pond which doesn't leave me much of a shot looking straight at their their neck and shoulders but that buck for some reason he's been so careful all day he just came straight across here right over this water hole and gave me a perfect broadside shot For sure I hit him and then I was kind of unsure the way he reacted. I gotta find that arrow. There's the blind and the water hole. I can't believe I found it out here in all this brush. But... Looky there. Oh man. The old Muzzy MX3 did the job today. That's a good sign. Only one of those fletchings started off red. Now all three are red. Perfect pass through. Can't believe I found this thing. Let's go find that goat. Pretty country out here. It's great, I found a rancher who had no problem at all with me hunting out here. First time hunting in a blind. Well, first, I guess second time ever hunting antelope in a blind. Last Sunday was my first time. Broadhead worked fast. 